everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you are new to this channel, remember to smash that subscribe button and smash that like button and put that notification bell up. And tonight guys, it's Manchester United. Two, last one, Manchester United are finally through to the quarterfinals of the Europa League. Not like we was we, we already knew that. We already knew that from the first leg when we were beating them 5-0. But yeah, today we cemented it. Now we can move on to Monday night playing against FC Copenhagen after knocking out Lass. And let's get straight into the match, guys. Nothing really in the first 30 minutes of the first half. The first half, I have to say, guys, it was boring. You probably was probably yawning. I almost fell asleep. I'm not going to lie to you. Look at me. I've got tired eyes right now, but I almost fell asleep watching that first half of Manchester United. First 30 minutes, lights looked like the better team with a couple of chances. But apart from that, we, we had nothing to show. We was terrible in the final third. We was terrible. That second team, oh, God. Thank God. Thank God, guys. And it proves that we need we need depth, strength and depth. Certain players need to go. Certain players need to leave. And you know that as much as Jesse Lingo was great, he needs to go. He needs to go. A, lot, a couple of players need to go. I'm not going to lie to you. Juan Mata was tired, ran out of legs. Well, I have to say, he is expired goods right now. He he has completely lost it, guys. And you, you have to say, like, there's just too many fringe players. It was slow. Last look at the better team. The final third was horrendous. We just couldn't find the right passes. Daniel James. Boy, DJ. Today, you was not DJing, fam. You couldn't find a scratch to scratch those records, fam. You was just, you couldn't do the... <coughs> to go through players and final third was poor 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 dj stop it dj go and work yourself out go and sort yourself out as well mate today was one of your worst games in terms of final decision making i always said dj you need to go and start reading so you can get a bit more clever so you can tell better stories with your feet my brother but nevertheless guys we finally, finally, finally break the bar car with Jesse Lingard finally finding the net off again. Back to back goals. I gotta give it up to my boy Jay Links, you know. But still, still Jay Links, you still need to leave at the end of the day. Regardless of whether you score today, at the end of this mini tournament that we're having in the Europa League, and I hope we win it, guys, because it will be great for the team's confidence and it will be good for. Uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer to get that win, that first trophy under his belt. And, and it will show that the team can win things. But yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just thinking that Justin Lingard, because you kind of put me, you got me sidetracked a little bit. I still think that he needs to go. But nevertheless, we move on. We're doing well. But then, oh, my guy again, my brother, my the French connection, mon gars, Anthony Marshall, scored a brilliant second goal. Second goal, all by himself, just making it work. Ah, Anthony Marshall, my guy, bruv. That's Munga. Oh, oh Munga. He came out of nowhere, came on in the second half, which I thought, Oli, you should be resting these players. But, you know, Oli wants to give these players a couple of minutes that we play in the quarterfinals. Our first team, he brought on Pogba, he brought on Marshall as well to do a thing. Done a thing, scored a goal, made it 2 1. Then we just cemented that, that, that quarterfinals. Now, Lask is just looking lost, and now they have to go home. Lask, thank you very much. Beating them 7 1 on aggregates was felt good. Plenty of goals. To be fair, it was, a, it's, it was our second team that beat Lask home in a way, so it was the French players. So, well done to the French players. Well done to them. So, the match finished 2 1. We are through. Um, wait, like I said, for guys, we have FC Copenhagen. And guys, you know we'll go through. We'll knock out FC Copenhagen. And guys, remember, it is knockout stages. It is not a second leg. It's straight first match. If you don't win, you're out. Simple as. Straight into the finals. And we just have three games. The quarterfinals, semifinals, and the finals. Hopefully, we can win that. And I would like us to win. And like I said before, it's good for Oli. Good for his momentum. Let's go straight up to our man of the match, guys. Ah, uh, it was pretty. It was a hard one, but I have to give it to the goalkeeper Romero. 
it's a couple of saves where he saved us, especially in the last couple of minutes where they could have made it 2 2. And Romero done a wonderful save, just wonderful reflex. One of the best number twos, guys, you have to say. One of the best number twos as a goalkeeper. No one better than Romero. No one can tell me that. You can shut your mouth. I'm not going to listen to anyone telling me that Romero's not the best number two. Yes, he is. Tell me anyone who's the best number two. Tell me. Tell me in the comment description below. No one can tell me. But yeah, Romero, definitely my man of the match today. And my donkey of the match again, again and again and again, DJ Daniel James. Could not find it. You could not scratch anything today. Could not even mix today. If you was the DJ today, you'd be booed off. People would throw tomatoes at you and you would have to come off and you'd be never seen again. Daniel James did nothing good. And guys, let's go straight in the player ratings. In goal, Romero, my man of the match. I'm going to have to give him a seven today. Brilliant. Saved us a couple of times, especially in the last minute. That save was fantastic fantastic reflex fantastic reflex best number two best number two in the world and we're moving up straight to timothy fossil mensa sometimes i just struggle it's a tongue twister timothy fossil mensa i have to give you a7 as well although you did well he did give the ball away at times, but I have to give it to you. He did well for someone that's come back after 14 months. So, yes, I'm going to have to give you a 7. And everybody going to have to give you a 7, my friend. My Cote d'Ivoire native. Fellow, fellow Ivorian. But still, at times, I still think, like, maybe he's a possible player that maybe needs to leave as well. But I'm not going to talk about that today. But I'm going to have to give him a 7, as well. And we have to go straight into our captain. Harry Beckenbauer, Harry Maguire, yes. You today are seven for you. We have Brandon Williams, the young gun, doing things on the left back, who was right footed. Big it up for the right footed left back. Gonna have to give you a seven too. He did well today. Well, then we move it up straight up in the midfield. Fred did okay today. Gonna have to give him a seven. Gonna have to give him a seven today. Just because he did okay and we won. Apart from that, if we lost draw, he would have probably got a six. But he's doing well. McTominay, Scotty, Mc Sauce, McMayo, Spicy McMayo. Bro, today he was okay. I'm going to have to give you a seven too. And we move us straight on to DJ Daniel James. The shit DJ today. Couldn't mix anything. You today, I'm going to have to give you a five. You was poor. Final decision making poor. Go and read that book, please. Read some William Shakespeare if you really want to enhance your literacy, especially when it comes to storytelling. That creativity is needed there. It will unlock you. You will be woke. My brother, read some books. Study. Get smart. You need it. And we move on straight on to who played on the other wing as well, Matter. Oh, he's expired. He's gone. He's gone. He's like the finished toothpaste. Like nothing left. You know when you've used up all your toothpaste, so you use toothpaste all the way to the end. You're gonna have to roll it, roll it to get some. that's him right there. Brother. Brother, he wasn't that great today. But you have to give it up to him. Clever play sometimes. But just one matters of expired because he's finished. He's finished. He's tried his best. Even he looked a bit leggy towards the eightieth uh, to ninetieth minute. But yes, give him a six today. N'Golo didn't do much. Maybe because he wasn't getting enough service. But here I have to give him a six as well. I would have to give him a six. And the guys who came on, like Pogba, just for you coming on, I'm just going to give you a six because you didn't really do that much. It wasn't that effective. Martial came on, seven. Um, Mengi, six. We have Chong, six. I can't remember where, whoever else came. It'll get a six as well because it wasn't that bad. But Chung did well. Chung did do well. And guys, with our manager rating, Oli today, gonna have to give you a seven as well because you, you was okay. But you could have easily got a six, my brother. And guys, I'm not gonna lie. Thank you. You see the new settings. 
It's brilliant. It's wonderful. It's been a wonderful show. I hope you guys like the new settings as well. It's, it's I find it up there. I, I got a green screen. I'm, I'm doing things. Get me. Get me, guys. Guys, it's been wonderful. We're going to see you for the quarterfinals. Hopefully, I'll release a catch-up show. You know, you know, it's, it's, it's been a while. It's been a while. So just wait out for that. Keep your eyes posted for that, guys. And remember to keep it Red United. And remember to subscribe to Red United as well. And follow that like and smash that like button. Leave some comments. Tell me who you thought your man in the match was. Who's your donkey of the match? And guys, keep it united. Keep it Red United. Peace out.